Hey everybody, Shep here. Today is January 17th, and I want to make a little video. Uh, this is going to be a talking video, but I want to make a little video about um, planning for the gardens this year. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to my uh, new subscribers. I'm glad that you uh, find my uh, content interesting, and I'm glad to have you all here, and I really appreciate all the views. Um, that being said, I really need to make a video kind of explaining my channel, but um, for those of you who haven't seen my channel before, my channel is just a vlog of stuff I do here on the homestead. I started out making it pretty much just for my own use to be able to look back on and kind of document things and then to share with my uh, friends that don't really live that close. But uh, I'm glad other people are finding it interesting and are watching my videos. I just, like I said, I really appreciate that. So that being said, even though it's January, I'm already looking forward to uh, gardening this year. So I just kind of have a list here of some seeds that I'm going to be buying here soon and some other things that I'm going to need to buy for gardening and the growing season this year. I've been through my seeds. I keep my seeds uh, in the house in storage and I went through them today kind of looking to see what I'm going to need for this year and kind of where I'm running low because I like to I like to keep uh, extras, you know, extra seeds and stuff on hand. So we'll just go through this list and I'll kind of talk about it. And once I actually order these seeds and they come in, we'll kind of, uh, we'll look at them then. And, um, and we'll, we'll talk about the varieties of stuff that I got and kind of, we'll talk some more about that. Um, I'm not really going to say where, uh, what companies I'm going to buy these seeds from. Obviously, when I do buy them and show them off, you'll you'll see on the packages, but obviously I'm not getting paid or anything from any company, so I'm not really going to do a whole lot of advertising just because. Uh, that being said, I'm probably buying most of these seeds from two or three different companies. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and look at these. So I've usually like to grow marigolds. I haven't grown them for a few years. They're nice in the garden. They're a very easy flower to grow. Um, they say they keep, you know, animals away. Honestly, I don't know whether or not that's true, but I just like marigolds. So I don't have really very many marigold seeds, so I'm going to buy some this year and plant them. And then I'm going to get some sunflower seeds because I want to grow some sunflowers for the chickens. Now, before I have grown the mammoth sunflowers, the ones that get really tall, and I've just not had good luck with them because they've gotten too big. They usually break and fall over, and they just usually is a mess where they're planted. So I've been looking into it, and uh, I'm probably going to go with a variety of sunflowers that uh, are, you know, four or five feet tall, a lot, lot shorter but I want to go with an heirloom variety that I can obviously save seeds from and plant again. So once I decide what variety I'm going to go with there, I've kind of started, just started looking at that. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll show that when I actually get the seeds. Um, vegetable seeds, really, I don't really need a whole lot. I have, I like Roma green beans. That's what we like to have here. I have probably enough to plant this year, but, um, you know, sometimes, at least with me, sometimes you got to replant if you get a big grain or something. So I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy another package of them, a pound of them. And then sweet corn, I have plenty of sweet corn seed for, as, for no more than I plant. But I'm going to do something this year that I've wanted to try where I'm going to, when I plant, this, the, the variety that I like is ambrosia. 
and I forget how many days that is. I think it's like 75 days or so to the maturity. So I am going to pick another variety of sweet corn that has a later maturity, like 10 days later or so. And that way I'm going to plant both of them at the same time, but I'll get them in two batches. Um, that to me is just going to be easier than planting some and then coming back, you know, 10, 10 days to 14 days later and planting another round. That'll just be easy to do it one time and done. Uh, celery seeds, I grew this kind, which is called Tender Crisp. I grew that uh, last year and liked it pretty good. So I'm, I have probably enough celery seeds, but I'm going to go ahead and get some more. Mountain Fresh Tomato, uh, that's a determinate variety. Yeah, I really was impressed with them when I grew them this year. So I'm going to buy more of them. I don't have many seeds from them. I'm going to buy more, and uh, it's going to be probably the majority of my tomatoes that I plant because they were just, they worked really well for canning. Uh, green Magic Broccoli, I did the thing this year where I tried, I planted Green Magic, and I planted uh, DeCicio, and I like the Green Magic better, so I'm going to kind of stock up on that. Uh, onion seeds, I am out of Patterson. Now, I, I've explained this before in videos because a lot of people, you know, just plant onions from sets, but I like to start mine from seed for the simple reason when you get the sets at the store, you're kind of limited to what they have. And I like Patterson onion because that is one of the longest storing onions. I, you know, have some in the house from that I planted and, you know, they're still fine and they'll, they'll be fine for a long time. They store excellent. So I'll be getting some of those cause I'm almost out. Uh, National pickling. That's a, that's an old variety of cucumber. It's what I've pretty much always grown. It's a great, uh, kind for canning, obviously for pickling. So I have enough, but I want to go ahead and because I, I want to go ahead and stock up on those as well. Uh, pumpkins, I've got various varieties of them that I will we'll be uh, buying. Probably just, you know, kind of going. I've got a list of some, but I'll be going through also and just kind of ones I think are neat. I will be buying. And then kind of some other stuff I'm going to need. I'm going to go ahead and get another bag of uh, the potting mix I use. Um, I, I probably have enough, but I want to be safe. I, you know, I just like to have more than I, more than I need, you know, just to be safe. And then fertilizer, I'll have to pick up my fertilizer for the year, which I usually buy four or five bags of fertilizer. This year I'm going to need uh, five bags because I'll be buying two bags of triple 12 uh, that, that'll just be for, uh, the ve vegetables to fertilize them with. And I, I'll show you all how I do that, obviously, when we get around to it. And then I, I buy a bag of triple 19, which I use that, uh, as starter fertilizer on my field corn. And then I'll buy, uh, two bags of urea. One of those bags I will use for my field corn. Um, I'll side dress my field corn with it. And then the other bag I will use for sweet corn and then for some other things that may require nitrogen. So that's pretty much the stuff that I'm going to have to buy. The one thing I didn't put on this list that I was thinking about is I'll need to buy diesel fuel. And, um, Usually, I just buy five or ten gallons. I'll probably buy ten gallons this year, and that'll honestly, uh, that'll honestly be all I need this year, unless I end up doing a bunch of stuff with a tractor in the fall, which probably won't re really happen. But you never know. But I'll probably get ten gallons of diesel fuel. And then this it, on the back here is kind of my planting schedule. So. Traditionally here, our last frost date, or first frost date, I'm sorry, or no, sorry, <laughs> I got mixed up. Usually the first frost-free date here is May 10th. That's the day all the old timers said, and realistically, 
you know, honestly, by May 1st, you usually don't have any problems here. Uh, within the last several years, there's only been, there's only been like one or two times where it's kind of been iffy after the first, but usually May 10th, but the ground here is stays so wet that I honestly don't ever get anything planted before the 15th. So May 15th is what I always plan on. Um, last year, I planted some stuff right after that, May 17th, I think is when I started, or 16th. Um, but then there's been some years like uh, 2019, that was an unprecedented, unprecedentedly wet year here. And uh, I didn't get a seed in the ground until May 31st. So you just you just never know. But usually May 15th is what I plan on. Even if it's a week or so later, it's not usually much more than that. So that being said, I've done this gardening thing long enough to know based on that how how early I need to start the plants to be the size that I want them when I set them in the garden. So going from that May 15th date, I go back and I'll show you that here in a sec to figure out when I actually want to plant, want to start these seeds. So the first seeds and and the reason these dates are specific is because I always uh, I always start my seeds on a Sunday, and these are all Sundays. So that's just something that I've, you know, something I've always done. And and by doing that, I know hey, I started these on a Sunday, so I can. It's easy to think about when I started them, and that's just always been something I've done after, you know, uh, after I come home from church and stuff. It's just kind of fun to think, oh, I'm starting some seeds today. Okay, so the first thing I will be starting is on March 5th, which is 10 weeks. That's what that means. 10 weeks before that May 15th date, I'll be starting my onions. And as far as how many of all these, once I figure out my garden and, and spacing requirements and stuff, I will, um, I'll make a video talking about exactly what I'm growing. But for now, I just know that I'm going to be starting onions then. And then two weeks after that, which is obviously eight weeks then until planting date, on March 19th, I will start my celery and my peppers. And then April 2nd, which is six weeks before I'll start my tomatoes and then like the marigolds or Mexican sunflowers, I plant them. I like them a lot. So that's when I'll plant those. And then April 23rd, that's when I, that's my last planting really. And I plant cucumber, squash, and watermelon. Now, a lot of people, you know, plants cucumber, squash, and watermelon directly, uh, in the garden, in the soil. But I always, uh, you know, I've got these other plants I'm taking care of, so I always like just to, to go ahead and start them in trays, and um, they're just uh, easier because you know exactly what you're, kind of what you're dealing with, so I, that's just how I've always done it. That's what I like doing it. Back, you know, back in the day, we used to just plant them directly in the garden, but I, I just, I like taking care of the plants and, and like setting them as plants. So that, that'll really be the last planting until, uh, obviously after that we'll plant once it's, once we can get in the garden, I will plant all the stuff like the corn, the beans, uh, all that kind of stuff that I plant directly in the ground. So, and then, uh, here on June, end of June, June 25th, I will, that's when I'll start my pumpkins. Now, for the last several years, of course, I've only this will only be like the third year growing pumpkins for me. But the last two years, I guess, I've started them like at the end of May, and they've just been they've just always been ready too early, and just I've had issues. So I know other people around here that sell pumpkins commercially, and they plant them toward the end of June. So that's what I'm going to go with. It'll have to be a lot better. 
And uh, that's pretty much my planting schedule and stuff that I'm going to need this year for uh, for the gardening season. I'm ready to get it kicked off. I am thinking about buying a grow light. Um, when I start my seeds, I've always I've always been real limited on space until this year, and I pretty much honestly I put them in front of a window and they honestly don't get enough sunlight so i'm going to be buying a grow light too and i'll show you that set up once we get to where we're actually starting seeds and i'm excited to you get gardening season kicked off this year so i know this has been kind of a uh, just a long talking video but like i said i wanted to explain exactly what i'm doing and to kind of share with you guys uh what i'm going to be what I'm going to be purchasing this year for the homestead as far as for the garden stuff. So, you know, um, we'll have an, we'll have videos obviously more in depth talking about exactly with what varieties of everything and, um, how many of each we're planting. But for now, this kind of gives you guys an idea. And, uh, if you, if you've stayed with me this long, I appreciate it. And, uh, uh, hope you guys you know maybe found something useful out of this but otherwise I, I really appreciate the video or the views once again i appreciate all the new subscribers if, ever, if you've ever got a question about anything just ask and i'll answer it the best i can and um once again thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later